Hi folks, this is uh, Steve Grono of the Maritime Exchange Museum, LighthouseLens.com. Got a brand new, fresh out of the restoration shop, AGA 300 millimeter acetylene buoy light for you today. Uh, we've dialed this one up with all the options and including a pedestal. We're gonna offer it together as a package, just like you see it. Now I'm 5'10", and this is the top of my head right here. So this is about six feet tall or so, including the bird spike. Now this bird spike is custom made. It didn't come with AGA, it was never offered by AGA. We just thought it was cool and had it made for us. Uh, it adds a nice feature to uh, the beauty of the AGA design. Now, the 300 has a copper chimney, very complex copper chimney. It was built in such a way that the seas could literally wash completely over this lantern and not put out the acetylene light. This is all bronze cast, upper and lower, with the center lantern made of cast bronze also. Uh, a lot of brass also, the trim is brass, the lower tag is brass. This is the maker's tag, big big tag. It's a good six inches across and three inches high. This is number 076, it's an LBZ 300. Gas accumulator Stockholm, Patton Dahlen. This is approximately 1910-ish uh, in manufacture. Now we also have the very rare bracket. This cast brass uh, bracket is very hard to find. That is the original brass bracket, which also acts as a lifting eye here and here for the late ship tender to lift it on and off the buoy for service. Uh, this is the AGA, I'm sorry, this is the AGA uh, sun valve, the world's first photocell, as it were. Nice tag on it, very readable. It's a VSAA 10, and this uh, is manufactured in Brentwood, England. This one is a very, very clean example. They're, these are very hard to find in this condition. It has the original Pyrex glass on it. This is a brass vented vent ball. These little holes in here go to a cavity, and then there's a vent screen inside here to vent this to keep condensation out of it. There would be gas lines attached here to the acetylene burner to turn the burner off at nightfall. Now this has a beautiful crown glass lens, 300 millimeter Fresnel lens inside. It's all separate segments held together in this frame. I'm gonna tip this and give you a look. And I'm just gonna tip it a little because it's tipsy. I don't have it bolted to the pedestal, but I want you to see it inside. So there you go. What you're seeing there is the original uh, AGA burner with a ceramic tip down under that beautiful polished brass cover. Uh, that cover was made to protect the burner from heat as there are rubber diaphragms inside. You can see how nice this lens is. I, we have polished up the upper frame uh, to the through the nickel and into the original brass uh, lower. It even has a brass polished spring, compression spring here for the lens uh, to be held in place by the compression of this uh, bronze disc and the chimney in the center to take the heat, of course. So that's a little look at the inside of it. <sighs> Set that back down. And that's it. Um, weighs about 250 pounds overall would be my guesstimation. And uh, six, like I say, it's about six feet tall overall. Make a stunning display in any maritime setting. I think you'd have a ball with it explaining the history of how these things served our, our maritime heritage for so many years at, at, at sea. Very reliable, and they were extremely, extremely rare after World War II. They got, a lot of them got scrapped for the brass and copper to make shell casings. And that was about the time that we were electrifying and solarizing a lot of our maritime aids to navigation. So there you go, AGA 300 with sun valve and the sun valve bracket with a beautiful Fresnel lens and the original acetylene burner and the pe display pedestal. Any questions, you can reach me at 810-599-5147. Thank you so much. I hope that that was helpful.